welcome to a video. I know it's been ages, but look, look at look at the view. There's my boy. We are on the banks. I was gonna do some behind the scenes footage. Yeah. Josh is getting the B roll with a GoPro there. We are we're on a fishing holiday basically. Me, Josh, and my dad. My dad's right over there. I don't know if you can see him. Maybe if I zoom in. There he is. There's my dad. We're basically it's a it's a little like holiday village, not a holiday village. It's called Willow Lakes. It's up in northeast Lincolnshire. And yeah, we're fishing. We've been here since Monday. Today's Thursday. I was gonna make a long video about it all, but I just thought, you know, I've been enjoying myself and and doing normal things <laughs> like fishing and stuff. And I don't tend to talk much about anxiety at the moment. If turn the camera around the bungalow thing that we're staying in is right at the top of the hill I doubt that you'll be able to see it but it's up there basically not these wooden lodges that you can see in the front of the picture but behind them and further back like we're staying right up there there's always another lake up the top there's a smaller one but we prefer coming down here we've been down here every day so far like Tuesday Wednesday and today's Thursday our last full day here so we're doing this for a few hours I'll try and get you a bit of footage and then we're heading out for dinner this afternoon and then tonight I'm not sure I'll just chill and enjoy the last evening of our break my girlfriend's been away for the last three and a half weeks in the Czech Republic a much needed break for her to get away and see her family like she's been waiting desperately to get over there with all the restrictions and stuff but she's coming home on Sunday so I'll be home on Friday and then a couple of days and she'll be home and thank God for that Let's do some fishing. Probably shouldn't record this, Josh. Because I can't see which way the hook's got to come out. Yes. I have this horrible thing about handling the fish. I like when we first came, me and Josh fell out because he was having to take all my fish off the hooks. Okay, I'm gonna reword that. I wasn't able to fish because yeah. I was helping both of them. That's fair. But then after a while I just started like sod it i'll try it and since then like i've not been too bad i've took most of the fish off the hooks but i haven't caught a big fish yet i've had two massive we think they've been big on the line but the first one i don't know what happened that was on tuesday and then yesterday i was here fighting i'll put some footage in actually because josh got it on his gopro i'll put some footage in of me wrestling a fish yesterday My line was just pulling out, like the fish was swimming away and it was just pulling my line constantly. It's going again. Come on. Pull, pull him real, pull him real. God. Still on. I didn't have it tight enough so it was basically just taking my line and I was reeling it in. Do you want me to find you a glove? You're going to need both gloves, aren't you? Not yet. Let's get it in the bag first. Oh, come on, mate. It's just there. I don't know if it's on anymore. Wait then, yeah it is. And then we managed to get it right close here and my hook just pinged off. <gasps> no!
tell us your thoughts and feelings. I am fucked. That's my thoughts and feelings. That was a... That was a monster. I need to sort my line out. Is my hustle break? Yeah. Has it really? I think so. Yeah, because there's only like one shot on there. I think you're a little bit tangled near your float as well. And it was such a shame, man. We think that that was probably going to be the biggest, but so far Josh has caught the two biggest. By far. I'll put I'll put some pictures in, actually. We've got two photos of just Josh holding the fish. And they've been the biggest fish so far. No question about it. But it's a beautiful day. Sun's out. I managed to get sunburnt down the left side of my face and all on my head because I had had my hat backwards yesterday. So the sun was going through the hole in the hat. So that was quite clever. I've got sun cream on. I've put some on my head today just in case I do like remove the hat. But yeah, we're only here for a few hours today. And we haven't really got any footage of fish yet. But let's hope we can catch a big river monster. Go on, Josh. There it is. <laughs> oh, it came off. So we're basically just, we're catching tiny fish. He's just put his rod back in the water, look. And this is the kind of fish that we're getting today. Like, monsters. Absolute beasts. Yeah, he, did, he just literally dipped his rod in. Sounds a bit weird. Oh, I got bit yesterday as well. I could feel something stinging. Yeah, not by a fish. I got bit by something and I checked the back of my leg and it was bleeding. And then we was in the car last night driving somewhere and my dad was like, Oh, that could be dangerous. You could get infected. People die from that. Great. Yeah, it's not, it's not the best thing you could say to someone who has, you know, a bit of, I'll say a bit of anxiety. I'm way, way, way further forward than I have been. Like, it's ridiculous. I'm able to just do normal things like this. Like, and going out yesterday, went for a drink last night at a pub. We're hoping to go for dinner today. So, yeah. It's been a success. Like I say, I haven't filmed much because I've just been enjoying myself. What's not to like about this? Apart from slimy fish. Fish guts. Maggots. Having a hook stuck in their eye. Yeah, that happens. Oh, one thing that we did do that I'll tell you, we came fishing on Tuesday, and we have like three tubs of maggots, and they're all in the in the big like tackle box. There's a massive fish out there, Josh. The camera's never going to pick it up, but I can see it. We left the maggots in the boot of the car, in the tackle box. And then we went, we remembered like late at night, so we thought we'd best go and take them out of the boot. So we went to the boot of the car, opened the boot, and there was, there was maggots. There was maggots everywhere, the trunk for the Americans. We opened the trunk of the car, and there was maggots all on the boot carpet, everywhere. It was ridiculous. How they managed to get out of the bait box, which was inside the tackle box, and still get out, it's beyond me. But yeah, we spent like 20 minutes just individually picking maggots out of the back of the car, which was nice. Let's carry on fishing. Let's try and catch a big one to end this five-day break that we've had. Come on. Massive that was. Struggled to pull it in on my own. There's some monsters out there. If you can see them. I want the other glove. Yeah, 
The hook is in its mouth still, but the line isn't, I don't think. Yeah, it is. Oh, it well, is. it's all tangled around him. I need you to get the hook out then. I can't. I need you to get the hook out then. Get right in. He's still got maggots in his chops. He's whacking Enjoy. back in there. Jesus Christ, hold your camera. Uh, just stick it on there. Man. Back out in for the wild. We could have caught it, we could have cooked it. We could have done a catch and cook. But we didn't because we're a respectful fisherman. Basically we're just playing hook a duck. Your tactic. Well, it's this can, well yeah, yeah. You so basically it. we bait the swim. With sure, maggots. give an example. Not many left because we chucked 356 in here. We noticed the other day that the fish are coming right up to the bank to take the maggots. There's one now. So we're basically baiting just just off the bank here, and you can see them sort of the maggots then the mud. Coming right up close to the edge, and they're taking the bait off the hooks. We've had to wait a while today, but. Caught loads of little farty ones, but we'd have been happy with those in the canal last like a couple of years ago. If you remember the old fishing videos, which were pants, but this one's not much better. There's another one. Can, we've seen a couple big boys over there. Mm -hmm. So Josh has caught the biggest fish, oh, again, every single day that we've been here, Josh has caught the biggest fish. We're now going to head over to where my dad is and spend half an hour fishing there. Oh fuck me. And then probably call it a day. So we've got to go for dinner and stuff. But yeah, it's a beautiful day again. The sun is actually melting the side of my face. My left leg feels burnt. Which isn't yeah, great. How are you finding it, Josh? Well, I've been as I'm possibly the best fisherman that's ever existed. I'm doing quite well. I mean, I'm struggling to argue. Exactly. But then again, <clears throat> I'm not doing proper fishing. Yeah, that's it. But it's nice, it's just peaceful, man. Wait, right, this is all, this does not feel comfortable. So we're heading over to my dad, who is over there behind us there's pegs all around this lake we just or we found that spot yesterday and we just really liked it there but now we're going to sit in the shade it's my dad's already walked around to us and said that it's cold but i guess i should mention anxiety because this is anxiety united you are you you're anxious to catch i'm anxious to catch fish i've had a couple of moments while we've been here I had one when we first got here and we went to the shop and as soon as I got out of the car I went all lightheaded and weird but all I literally did was just waited a minute and then went in the shop and everything was fine whereas in the past like maybe that would have been a moment where I was like nah so here we are approaching my father we'll do a bit more fishing it's very windy that's probably all you can hear it just flies see you later mate okay see you in a bit